Knocked up, the 40-year-old virgin, bridesmaids, train wreck, all among the biggest comedy hits of the last decade and all the work of Apatow. With a writer's background and an eye for talent that has elevated actors like Amy Schumer, Lena Dunham, and Seth Rogen, Judd Apatow is a modern comedy maestro. In addition to the movies, Apatow is the executive producer of Dunham's HBO show Girls and a new show on HBO called Crashing, which premieres tonight. The Long Island native and I got together at New York City's famed Comedy Cellar for a Sunday sit-down. <laughs> just being here, I just want to get up there. It's how you started, a lot of people don't know. Like you were a stand-up. Yes. I only wanted to be a stand-up. I feel like I just made movies so I could get better spots at the Comedy Cellar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean this in the nicest way possible, Judd, but you are perhaps the biggest comedy nerd yes. I've ever met in my life. Yeah. You had in this high school radio show. Mm -hmm. You interviewed Seinfeld and mm -hmm. Leno and Steve Allen. It's incredible, yeah. the biggest yeah. comedians of the time. So you pick up the phone, you call, let's say, Jerry Seinfeld's agent, yeah. and you would say what? I'd say, this is Judd Apatow from WKWZ Radio. <laughs> and how does that work when you uh, audition and then get steady work? Well, you audition, you start off at 3 in the morning, and you fight your way through the order, by hopefully by doing better than the guy that they put on ahead of you. And they, next night, they put you on ahead of him. The thing that most people talked about, which was the most helpful, they were all like, it takes about seven years to learn who you are enough to you know, have a comedic identity. So I started doing stand-up senior year of high school, did it while I was in college, and slowly I realized, I can pay my rent if I write jokes for other comics. And that's how I began writing. One of Judd Apatow's first jobs was writing those jokes for the Ben Stiller Show. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Good show. And later for Gary Shandling on the Larry Sanders Show. In 1999, he co-created and was the executive producer of Freaks and Geeks. Hey, uh, Sergeant Pepper, where's the rest of the Lonely Hearts Club band? Well, looks like you ate them. <laughs> the show was canceled after just 12 episodes, but it became a cult favorite that launched the careers of actors like Seth Rogen and Jason Segel, who later would become stars in Apatow's movies. Are you breaking up with me? When the show ended, I just thought, I'm just going to pretend the show didn't get canceled. And so every movie, in a way, has been just an episode of Freaks and Geeks. Oh, this is the one about the Greek. <laughs> this, is, this is the one where there's a virgin in it. <laughs> Apatow's other hits include Bridesmaids. It happened. It happened. This is 40. Looks like you put your Justin Bieber wig on backwards. And Trainwreck. Do you follow sports? I love them. Who are your favorite teams? The Orlando Blooms. He also produced Will Ferrell comedy classics like Anchorman. I'm in a glass case of emotion. If I had to put one Judd Apatow movie mm -hmm. in the time capsule, yes. Which one is it? I guess it would probably be Knocked Up. I'm pregnant. With emotion. We said, let's just put everyone in it that we wish was a star. Let's put that Jonah kid in it. Let's put Seth in it. Let's get Baruchel and Jason Segel and uh, Bill Hader's in that movie. And, right. and so I'm most proud of the fact that it was a great launch pad for a lot of people. Where do babies come from? There were some other they? notable stars in Knocked Up. Apatow's daughters, Maud and Iris. Go get it, fetch! He's treating my kids like they're dogs. And his no, wife, not. Leslie Mann. Leslie told me a few weeks ago on this show about an odd habit her husband had when she met him. She said early on yeah. in your dating, you'd stare at her mouth. I was a mouth starer. <laughs> <laughs> but what does that say about how I was parented? <laughs> As I'm, I'm dating Leslie, I'm 27 years old, and no one's ever told me in my entire life that when you talk to people, you look them in the eye. I had not heard that. So she's like, where are you looking? I'm like, your mouth. And she's like, why are you looking at my mouth? I said, so I can hear you? <laughs> We're having a group meeting. Judd has returned to TV in recent years as executive producer of HBO's Girls, the Netflix show Love, and a new HBO series, Crashing, starring comedian Pete Holmes. I thought you were going to be writing jokes at the library. What are you doing? 
What? Who is this? Pete came to me with this idea. He was doing a sketch on his talk show. He had a talk show on after Conan O'Brien's talk show. And in the sketch, he was pitching me ideas. There's a man, he's okay. 22, mm -hmm. he gets married okay. uh, because he's religious. And then six years later, his wife cheats on him with a small Italian man. Ooh. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I get my heart broken, but I learn life lessons. And I made fun of it in the sketch. That doesn't seem like a comedy at all. That just seems r tragic and <laughs> sad. But then after we shot the sketch, I said, that's actually a pretty good idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? And action. When the 49-year-old Apatow isn't working on a TV or movie set, he's often writing to his nearly 2 million followers on Twitter, where he's been a relentless critic of President Trump. Do you see any downside or any risk to you about being so out front about this stuff? I think everyone is concerned about their, their careers. But you, know, you look at things that have happened in history and you say, why didn't anybody speak up? Why did people allow that to happen? Like I feel, like, I feel that like deep within me. So the idea of not speaking up uh, feels really wrong. Exactly. I was very proud to get on the wall. I didn't know if I earned it, but I feel like I'm in a good section. You know, I got, I got Seinfeld. Yeah. I got Robin. This is 40. Mm -hmm. This year, you're turning 50 personally. Yes. Do we get a sort of this is 50 or some kind yeah. of we've reached 50 movie at some point? You know. I'll turn 50 this year. We, we got to give it a year or two to see if anything happens. Right. Hopefully not a major health scare. <laughs> I'm thinking my 50s are going to be such a calm, smooth ride that you can't make it. This is 50. You got to wait till this is 60. <laughs> Although it's funny, my dad is always, uh, you know, treating me like a little kid. You know, I'm 49 years old, but he still talks to me like I'm eight. So he's always like, "How are you doing? How's my little boy?" I'm so proud of my little boy with his, his heart stress test and his low cholesterol. Okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to, I need to you know, get older. Apatow's new show, Crashing, premieres tonight on HBO, and season two of Love begins streaming on Netflix next month. The final season of Girls is airing now on HBO. You can see much more of our interview at sundaytoday.com with Web Extras. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.